What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create custom commands in 5M on your client side. So there's different differences for client and server commands. Uh, this one we're going to be talking about just basically client commands and we're going to be spawning in a vehicle for this one. Um, your FX manifest should look something like this. You should have a version, game, and a client script. Since we're not using server, I've accounted it out for right now. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to, I would say, make your commands a little better. I'm going to show you multiple ways of making a command, basically, and you can pick whichever way. It's up to you. Um, first things first, we're going to start by registering a command. Register command. And I'm going to show you guys all these natives as well. So if we go to register command, we're on the client side here. We're gonna have register command, command string, handler, and function. You can read the rest if you want. It gives you an example right here. Um, so if I do this, and we're gonna have this be called car because we're gonna be spawning in a car, and we're gonna add a function here. In the function, we're gonna get the source of the player, uh, args, which is gonna grab that text that you're gonna be typing, so the model of the vehicle, and then uh, we're gonna have raw, which is raw command. And in here, we always end our command just like so. So at the start, we're going to go with a local model. And this is going to be the model of the vehicle uh, that you're going to be typing in. So we're going to do args and one, which is going to grab that first, the first thing said after the command. And we could show this by doing print. This is how I debug a lot of things. And we could print the model after the command. So we refresh this. We do slash car adder. If we press F8, it's going to come right in there and say adder. Ignore this above. This was before. And since we don't need that, we're going to count by just delete that completely. So in here, we're going to do if model. If model. Uh, does not equal nil. Then we are going to do local model, uh, local hash, we're gonna do hash, hash vehicle equals get hash key, and we're gonna grab the hash key of the model. Oops. Now what the hash key does is it grabs a, basically a number value of the vehicle. It is also a 5M native, which we can get hash key right here. It's gonna come back like so um, yeah so now we're gonna request the model request whoops, model and we're gonna grab this hash hash vehicle uh, so what's that doing it's I have a native once again uh, request model it's just basically requesting the model to be loaded into memory so if you have one of these import vehicles or uh, just added vehicle that's not in regular GTA, it's going to load that into your memory if it's already not. And then we're going to do a local is model loaded. Now I like to, I've been growing to write my locals a little bit neater, I guess, and This is just has model loaded and then the model or the hash vehicle. Uh, I usually write them more neat now, basically because uh, it's a lot easier to read if you're someone else. And you can see right here, has model loaded. I completely fucking butchered it. Model, but model loaded. And this basically well, is checking if it's loaded into your memory. <laughs> that simple, really. So. Now what we want to do is if the model is not loaded. So while is model loaded equal equals false, do um, citizen dot wait, and we're going to have a zero, zero wait here. So when it's not loaded, it's just completely refreshing until it is loaded. And we could end that right there. Very simple. And then we're going to do a local V equals create vehicle 
which is a function right here, or 5M native, my bad. And you can see how it works is you want the model hash, X, Y, and Z heading is network, which is basically if the server can see it or just you, and is missionary text. So in here, we're gonna do the model hash, obviously. So the hash vehicle, which is the vehicle. And now we're gonna do get, uh, I can actually show you. We're gonna get the entity's chords. Uh, get entity chords right here. And what this does is it, like it says, it grabs your chords. So uh, we're, we use get player ped and then we're gonna pass source through this. And then we're gonna also get entity heading, uh, which works the same way uh, as this, except it gets the heading of the player. Uh, and we can see gets entity heading right here. And it'll just basically get where your player is looking at. And now back to create vehicle. You can see is network, we want that to be yes. So we're gonna go right here and we're gonna put one and then model is gonna be zero. And we're gonna end this right here. So this is basically how you would spawn in a vehicle. So now if I refresh this, slash car adder, oops, we can see that there's gonna be an error here for global get player ped. Uh, which we're gonna go and see. Uh, that's why get played ped. <laughs> little mistype. Little mistype can ruin everything. So it's get player ped. Just remember that. <laughs> and now when we spawn the vehicle, it's gonna spawn the adder right on top of us, basically. But it's not gonna put us in the vehicle. So we're gonna want us want that to put us in the vehicle. So one more native. We're gonna set ped into vehicle right here. And as you can see, it wants the pad first, then the vehicle, then the seat number. So going into here, and we could just go back right here, and we're gonna do the native. So set player into here. We're gonna copy this, which is gonna grab the source uh, vehicle, which this is the vehicle right now, and then the seat, which is negative one for driver. So we're gonna want that just like so. Now, when I spawn the vehicle, it puts me in the front seat, it puts me in that driver's seat. And that is how you create a custom command. Uh, this one just being a car command. So I'm going to show you a different way of doing this. Um, a lot of what I like doing is actually just moving all of this into a, a different type. So I would just have a function or car equals function. And I would just have it go through here and then I would just call uh, this function right here. So we could still have this thing. So for example, we could just do source args raw. There's first and args and do And we could just basically have this. And then I would just be able to call car and then I would just pass everything through here. Um, you could also make this a little easier for you. And that's by making uh, these get entity chords by themselves a different, na uh, different local, so local player chords. For an example would just be this and then we could just paste in right here player chords and same thing with this right here uh, we could do local play player heading and that would just equal that and then we could pl pass in player heading just right there And for me, I, I feel like it's a little easier to read. It does the same thing. Uh, it might take up a extra couple of lines, but when 
when I'm doing that and I'm reading this, I can see directly where I'm grabbing this information. And I feel like it's a lot easier. Uh, you could also make this into a triggering event. So we could register net event and then uh, add Uh, we could do this with the same functions right here and then we would you could basically just name it car spawn or something spawn. and then in here in the event handler you basically have the same thing but with a function and then this would end and you could basically just do this and we'll pass in the same things here And instead of basically doing this, we could trigger event car spawn. And this should be doing the exact same thing, basically. Except I'm going to get an error. Name six. Name six. There should be a comma here. There should not be a comma there local args my bad um oh that's because okay that's because we're not putting anything through this so we would trigger the event my bad and then we would do source args right through here and it should now grab that information yes and you can do that so and then let me get out of this vehicle because i ain't trying to get copyrighted dog <laughs> uh this i feel like this is a lot easier and uh this would allow you to do different things. So for an example, you could just have one Lua, Lua thing just for registered commands. And then you would have everything with a trigger with these registering net events and you could just trigger the event just like that. And it would make it a lot cleaner. You would just see this on your register commands. And if you ever need to edit anything, you would just go and see which trigger event it is. And if you name it properly, you won't even really have to do that. And you can just go in here and edit whatever the whatever you like basically but that's gonna be it a little 12 minute uh server side will probably be next for commands usually uh server side is i mean it's basically the same thing except you could do a lot more like getting uh getting database uh stuff for that but stay tuned for that next video and thanks for watching